Hi, it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. So I got so many questions from the last tutorial that I just want to slow it down one more a bit this time and go over it again. So let's go into our search bar and just type in font lab. And here it is, fontlab.com. So let's click on that. And what you want to do is you want to scroll all the way to the bottom. And the one that we want is the free one. <laughs> so once you click on it, you type in your email, they'll send you the link, you'll download it. Okay, so I've obviously already have it downloaded. I've been using it for years, which I love. Um, okay, so I usually just click on file, click on recent fonts because I have my top, you know, eight that I always use. So I do like Floristia, it's from Creative Fabrica. We'll talk about that in a second. But let's just do a name so that we can um, get going on this. All right, so let's do... Um, I'll do Lisa. Okay. Um, click on the pick list, save as. So I'm going to do Lisa. Make sure it's an SVG file that you're saving. Save. And then let's go to Inkscape. And we're going to open up Inkscape. And that one, this is also a free download. So type in Inkscape, download it. Okay. Let's go to File and import our our name Lisa. So there it is. Okay, so it's over here. You wanna make sure that it's locked. So this one is currently unlocked, so just select it. Now it's locked. That way when you make this bigger, everything gets big proportionately. All right, so I'm gonna to need to make this a little bit smaller here because I can't get to my paint bucket. Okay, so currently we have Lisa here and I'm just gonna make this a little bit smaller so I don't have to scroll. Okay, so here's Lisa, it's currently selected. You wanna take your cursor and just click in a in the white area so that it's no longer selected because we want the paint bucket. So you wanna go click on the paint bucket, pick a color, and you wanna to go to the grow or shrink area right, now, right here and put in a number. I personally like to do uh, three layers. So this is one layer and then I want to do an offset and then another offset. I like to do 20 and 40. So I'll show you what that looks like. All right. So we have 20 selected. We have our colors yellow, right? So let's click on this L. Oh, beautiful offset, right? Let's click over here. This is all connected. We want to make sure don't forget the heart. So there's our heart. You want to do now is go back, click on the arrow. And this is selected, right? So you want to, again, deselect it by just clicking in the white area with your cursor. So I click there. So every, nothing is um, selected right now. Paint, paint bucket. Let's do green. It doesn't matter what color because we'll fix it in design space. Let's change this to 40. And let's click on the L, the I, and then the heart. Okay, we can do one more. And you see how there's a hole right there? We don't really care about that. We can fix that in design space. All right, so again, arrow, deselect this, right, by clicking in this open space, paint bucket. Let's do another color, and let's do 60, just so that you can really see the differences, okay? Um, click in this area, and hopefully this time it will all be an offset with one click. Yes, okay, don't worry about these two little dots. Now, go to the arrow, select that, grab this whole thing, Click on path and object to path. We need to do that so that all the layers import into design space. Go to file, save as, and we'll do Lisa offset. Make sure it's an SVG file, save. All right, let's go into design space. So here we go, new project, right? Go to upload, upload image, browse. We gotta find our image, right? And I think we saved it onto our desktop. Uh, what did I say about this? Lisa, right? So Lisa offset. Where are you? Okay, there you are. Let's save it. Select it and insert our image. Now we're going to clean it up in here. Okay, so here is Lisa. Um, we can ungroup the whole thing. Let's look at this, this layer. What I would want to do is let's get rid of those holes. Okay, so go to contour. And let's go down here, select this one. Click right here where the numbers are and it will get you to 100%. And let's get rid of these small little dots. Like that is not going to make a difference in our offset. So I don't like 
This gives the opportunity of ripping the paper. So I usually like to get rid of my small cuts. So, okay, so let's move that out of the way. Let's do our green layer. So our green layer over here, what I like to do is I just select it from your right-hand side panel. So I selected this one, hit the shift key, select this green and this green and weld. So now our little green layer is all together, right? So it goes like this. And, you know, I feel like we don't need these dots at all. So let's go back to this contour and let's just hide all. All right, so there's our back back layer. Here's our next layer. Let's look at the yellow. So again, using your right hand side panel, so we're selecting the heart, hit the shift key, select the ESA part, the L, and let's weld that as well. So now we have this layer. And then we have our final layer here. This one I would weld as well because I feel like it's all connected pretty um, pretty efficiently. So we can just put this on top here. Now what I like to do is I like to grab all of this and go to align and center. That way it's centered. <laughs> so you can see the offset. And that really makes a difference. I know I picked really funky colors, um, but you know, if you change it, it'll probably look nicer. Like I like my top layer usually to be glitter. So um, let's say it's white. Okay, so let's click over here. Here's our black layer. I'm gonna change it to white. My second layer, I like if I'm using glitter on top, my second layer needs to be just regular cardstock so that my glitter cardstock really shines through. So um, I don't know, let's, let's pretend this is the llama one. So we have a white layer. We probably want to really change, like to give a opposite color. Let's do blue. And then our green layer, maybe let's do this one pink. And then our last layer, you could go back and do a white or a yellow. And you, you know, maybe your yellow is metallic or something like that, but look at that offset. It's really, really nice. I love doing it. Um, and go to cut it, that's it. So I hope this helps you with your offsetting, but this is great for tumblers, um, for stickers, um, and definitely birthday banners and cake toppers. The name and everything, it just helps you um, see the file, I mean, see the, see the design better. All right. Uh, the other thing is, everyone asked me about this font as well. It's uh, Floristia from Creative Fabrica. If you choose to get the subscription, you can get 30% off by using my code. It's the Useless Crafter 30. Uh, and I like having the membership um, because there are a ton of SVG files to choose from and you can use them to, you know, uh, to make things and sell it. And as well as the fonts, the fonts are beautiful and there's so many things to choose from and you don't need to keep track of them because you can just download and then um, not worry about it because you have commercial rights to it. All right. To, to, to use. All right. That's it. Ah, it's a mouthful. All right. Let me know if you have any questions um, or if I can help you with your project. All right. Bye, guys.